What's going on, traders? Want to take this time and make a little weekend watch list for every one of all the stocks that I'm watching. So first, we'll start here with ECYT. So this has been a stock that I've been following for probably the last week. Okay, I've been watching this thing just kind of rip up. I really didn't catch on to it till about here once it had its really big day. So I was watching here on this red day in here. You see, uh, so first caught wind of it uh, when it was about. Four dollars, four dollars and fifty cents. Then I watched it just rip up to six seventy. So I didn't trade it throughout the whole time it was actually pushing up, but I've been following it, waiting for it to pull back. Uh, so ideally, what I'm looking for here is to enter a short position on ECYT. So let's map out a few things here on ECYT. So first things first, when it had like its really big push, you know, a few months back, had this really big pump from a dollar thirty-three, push it all the way to a high of about six fifty-seven. Let me grab a different drawing tool. All right, so it pushed up all the way to a high here of six fifty-five, six fifty-seven, before rolling over and then eventually dumping all the way down to four dollars and eleven cents. So it made about a dollar pullback here. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for here on ECYT is the fact we have a major $6 resistance, right? So we had resistance here at the $6 mark. It popped up to $6 on this day, seen resistance. On this big green day, it's seen resistance at $6. It finally broke through on Friday's trading. All right, now this is one of my favorite plays because you can see how extended this chart is, right? It's had a major push and it's gotten all the way to a high of 670, but its moving average support is right down here at about $5. So I do expect within the coming days and in the coming weeks that we would probably see ECYT pull all the way back down to A, $6, then after $6, down to $5, okay? So I'm really expecting to see ECYT in these coming days or in the coming week um, to have a major pullback that we will be looking to short because, quite frankly, this is just a very, very extended chart and it sh it, it's just overextended and it's really due uh, to come down. Then I did take the time to do a little bit of a Fibonacci uh, analysis on it here and I'll do it real quick. From the low here to its impulsive move to 670, um, you can see that these are going to be all the support lines, right? So if, in fact, ECYT does pull back, each one of these lines that are now mapped out on the chart will act up as a support level or a potential support zone. So their first retracements here at 23.6%. So if it does come down, we may see a little bit of a bounce here around 583. And if it breaks through 583, we would probably see a little bit of a bounce here at 38.2% retracement level, which is $5.20. And then right after that, we'll probably see it bottom out here around the 50% retracement or this $5 mark. Now you gotta understand all these retracement levels are just potential areas where it could bounce. Of course, nothing's exact and never will be, uh, especially in the stock market, but these are all potential areas in which we could see ECYT pull back to, okay? So in these next coming days and coming weeks, definitely gonna be keeping my eyes on ECYT for a short. I do wanna mention We've been following these past couple days and it's refused to go lower. Every time you think it's gonna move down, it ends up going back up. So it's been really tricky um, trying to time this one, but I do think we're getting close to um, a really big red day where we can make um, a significant amount of money shorting the stock. So definitely keep ECYT on your guys' watch list for next week. The next one here is actually a ETF, UVXY. All right, so many of you guys have heard me talk about this one for the past two weeks along with TVIX, um, but yesterday alone it had a really big day. So first things first, we're definitely going to keep an eye on UVXY and TVIX for this coming week, but more so because um, UVXY and TVIX um, are volatility funds, right? So, so they really track market volatility is what they do. So you can trade them like a regular stock, but their price action and price movement is you know, directly correlated with volatility seen in the overall market. And one way we can kind of track the direction that we can expect 
TVIX or UVXY is going to go will be based on the direction we're seeing the market head. So what I like to do is follow the ETF SPY, SPY. And what I'll do is I'll actually do this, right? I'll pull up two charts at the same time. So what I like to do during my trading days, and let me remove these drawings off of here. What I do during my trading day is I'll have up two charts back to back, just like you see here, and let me get this off here. Okay, I like to have two charts back to back, one of which, or one of which being UVXY or TVIX. And what I'll do is I'll follow them and I'll trade them based on the direction that the overall market's going. So what I'll do is I'll follow the SPY, right? So on Friday's trading, I made about a thousand dollar trade right in the morning by trading UVXY long. As soon as the market opened, the SPY popped up and it's seen a little bit of resistance up here in the top. And as you can kind of see it, it really, well, let me get that off and get a different drawing tool. As you can see, it started seeing some resistance right in this area. We popped up once here, came down, popped up there, came down, went up again, and we just couldn't really push higher there. We started to roll over, and then I ended up taking UVXY long on this green candle. As you could tell, it started to do this bottom basing, a nice little bit of a curling action. So what I did was I put, you know, this is, this is the way I trade them, right? I'm telling you exactly how I trade it, and I'm telling you to keep you know, UVXY and TVIX on your watch list uh, for next week because the markets are hot right now. They're extremely volatile and you can make a lot of money trading these, these ETNs and these ETFs if you're doing correctly. And this is one way you can do that pretty easily is whatever direction the market's going in, UVXY and the ticker TVIX will tend to do the opposite. And as you can see here, the SPY on Friday popped up did a little about a, a little bit of a, a basing up here, seeing some resistance. Look what this did, right? Look at UVXY. UVXY dropped out and did a little bit of a bottom basing. It looks almost exactly the same, right? So if you can follow the spy and get an understanding and a good judgment on which direction it's probably going to go, you can buy into UVXY or TVIX the opposite, right? So the spy looked like it was going to dump. So I took a long here on Friday, and I was probably in at about 2019, somewhere around here, and I wrote it all the way up into the peak on this candle, and I ended up selling out there before the pullback, right? For about $1,000, I went in here. Okay, so I had about a $1,000 trade just by following the direction of the, the SPY, right? Now let's take a look at this even more, right? And you can tell that they correlate pretty closely. So... Right here, for example, right, we, we go down, we go through this choppy consolidation, but as soon as the SPY breaks up, right, you can see exactly what happened through from here to there was this move on UVXY from the top down to the bottom. Imagine if you were able to get in short, right, watch this, I'll draw this channel out for you. So UVXY was trading in this little upward channel, right, this was it right here. See this choppy channel on UV or on the SPY right here, right? That choppy channel that it was trading in finally broke out here and started the massive dump on UVXY. And you could have been in short and rode this wave down as the SPY ripped up. So again, these become very predictable moves and very predictable trading patterns because you kind of have a checks and balance system, right? You see the play working on one ticker here, it starts going in the opposite direction here. You kind of have that double confirmation. So that's why we're gonna trade UVXY and TVIX very closely in these following weeks. I mean, just UVXY and TVIX alone within the past two months, I've probably made close to $20,000 just trading those two tickers, okay? Now, sure, I've lost some money trading them, but again, right, pretty predictable. Look at the market, uh, we're gonna bring this down to one screen. Now look at the market here on this yearly chart. This thing is really starting to come down, right? We had the massive dump, we had the bounce, now we're having you know, the retracement, we're coming back down. Um, so again, right, this was a solid bounce. It ran out of steam, started rolling over, and now some of this, these red days in here and these moves down are also probably 
you know, have some type of relation due to the news that, you know, broke with Donald Trump and the trade war and, and all those politics involved with the economy also affect the price action, you know, of the market. So again, right, the market is coming down. It's seeing a lot of movement, a lot of volatility. That is why UVXY and TVIX are such hot tickers to be traded right now. There are other tickers that do very similar moves to them, so you don't have to just trade UVXY and TVIX. There are many other um, volatility uh, tickers and volatility funds that you can trade very similar to the ones that I just mentioned. So this is a little weekend watch list of stocks that I would tend to keep on your watch list and that you guys should do a little bit of analysis on yourself um, over the weekend so that you kind of have a good idea of what maybe to trade coming into uh, the market on Monday. So good luck everyone. I hope you like the video and um, stay green.